Hi guys, welcome back to Switch Up. Well, things are going well here on Switch Up, which is very, very nice. The sun is shining from behind the clouds. And uh, we've got a Mario Golf review for you, written by our good friend Dave Morris, who is an absolute Mario nerd. I hope he doesn't mind me saying. Mario has always been willing to try his hand at many different sports. Golf is one of his more popular ones, although his last full outing was World Tour on the 3DS in 2014. And you'd have to go back to Toadstool Tour on the GameCube way back in 2003 for his last game on a home console. We now have a new Mario Golf game for Switch. Does it score a hole in one or a triple bogey? Let's find out. If you've ever played Mario Golf before, then you kind of know what to expect. If not, it's pretty simple to get into. After selecting the course and characters, you set out to sink your ball into the hole in as few strokes as possible. You press A to begin your shot, and the meter on the right will rise. Press it again to set the power of your shot. The game will display to you how far away the hole is and how far your ball is going to travel depending on how you set it on the meter. You can also press the A or B buttons when setting the distance to add a little bit of spin to the ball. After you've set all of these, the meters are going to rise again and you can hold the stick in a direction to apply some slight curve shot to the ball. There are also various other factors to consider, such as the strength and direction of the wind, the terrain you're standing on. This gives you a fair bit to think about when making each shot. Standard golf isn't all you can do in this game. There are a few party style modes. The first, the most heavily promoted, is speed golf. This allows all four players to take their shots at once and then run to their ball before taking the next. It then becomes a frantic race to get your ball in the hole first, as the winner is the person who has the lowest time. Every stroke will add 30 seconds to this, which ensures people will still plan out their shots and not just whack it willy-nilly in a panic. When you are running to your ball, you can hold B to sprint. This will deplete your stamina. You can also press L to do a special move, which will cost you a chunk of this, but will give you a speed boost forward and knock down any opponents nearby. Along the way, you'll need to contend with any course hazards, whether normal golf terrain, such as long grass or bunkers slowing you down, or the Mario enemies that can be scattered around the courses. You also have a power meter at the top by your player icon. When that's filled up, you can press L while taking your shot to activate a special shot, which will land with a bang and will have an effect on your opponent's balls if they land near them, such as turning it into an egg or forcing a curve shot on them. The speed golf is a fun mode and can get competitive, but when you take on the battle golf mode, things get more frantic. Here you're in an arena with nine holes spread out. You can go for whichever hole you want in any order, but once someone gets a ball in, that hole disappears. First to get to three points wins. Unlike speed golf, you're not timed here and it doesn't matter how many shots you take. And there is a fair bit of strategy and adaptability needed when deciding if you want to go for a hole out of the way where you'll easily get the point or stay with the crowd and try and steal the points from them. As well as dealing with chain chomps and thwomps and potential attacks from your opponents it's a very fun mode speed golf and battle golf can be played with two players on the same console or four online or across two switches locally the standard turn-based golf mode can be played with four players on the same switch with just one controller needed which is a nice touch so as a multiplayer experience these are all well and good but what if you're all on your lonesome i hear you all cry <laughs> Well, the game has you covered there, as all of those modes support online play and there is also a story mode. When playing online, you can choose to play with friends or randoms. You can customise what kind of game you want in pretty good detail if looking for something precise, although you're more likely to find a room quicker if you choose to look for anything. In my experience playing online, it can take a while to get a game started as people keep entering and leaving. And as the game loads up, it tells you how good their signal strength is, much like Mario Tennis Aces. I tried out Speed Golf with a group that had pretty poor signal and the lag was unbelievable. But when I tried a Battle Golf with a group that all had great signal strength, it was obviously much better. The story mode has some light RPG elements, where you explore the hub areas, talk to characters, purchase golf clubs and costumes with coins you earn, and take part in tournaments. It pretty much guides you where to go next each time, and the challenges it lays out does a good job in teaching you the game's mechanics. It was enjoyable to play through, and it's decent in length as well. I think most people would spend over five hours on it, but it does make me sad, as there are things included in this mode that I'd love to see in the main game. 
One such mode is cross country, which is similar to battle mode, but it takes place on the main courses. I would have loved to have seen this available in multiplayer. Hopefully in future updates, this will be allowed. Overall though, the core gameplay is really solid. The golf mechanics for the standard mode work really well and gameplay gets 16 out of 20. Controls in terms of the button inputs are found to be pretty flawless. There are motion controls included, which both my wife and I tried out, and honestly, we couldn't really get on with them. Which is a shame, considering Wii Sports did them so well 15 years ago. On balance though, they score 17 out of 20. The game, being set in the Mario universe, typically has that vibrant Mario look to it, although given the golf course setting, it isn't the most interesting in terms of set pieces. The characters themselves all look amazing, with some nifty costumes that sets them all apart and some spectacular animations for their special shots that made me want to play as each character in turn to see them all, instead of just sticking to my usual favourites. The soundtrack has a generally upbeat nature to it, with a lot of trumpets blaring on Bonnie Greens or the more sinister tones of Bowser's Highlands. There is a bit more variety than I expected there to be, with each course being represented through the music well and projecting the right mood for the setting. You get your typical grunts and cheers from the characters, and it's always great to hear that announcer shout, nice shot, in these Mario Golf games. Although the game is filled with Mario characters, it doesn't quite carry the amount of charm I'd expect from a Mario game, as some of the courses do seem a bit bland and lifeless, and nothing really jumps out as particularly special on some of them. It does have some high points, such as the Bowser's course, but when on the desert theme one, there isn't much to make it stand out, when they could have made it look like the much more interesting and vibrant Sand Kingdom from Mario Odyssey, for example, including the colourful shops and characters on the sidelines. As far as performance goes though, as you'd expect from a first party title, it runs flawlessly. Overall the presentation is very good, if a touch standard. It certainly carries the Mario charm through its characters and certain courses, but it is lacking in some areas. Visual score 15 out of 20. The music was a joy to listen to and it will definitely fit in well with the game. Audio gets 17 out of 20. Mario Golf Super Rush costs £49.99 and the original equivalents are on the screen right now. This is a standard first party Nintendo pricing, but it's hard to say whether it gives you good value for money. You have six courses, which is what the original had, but it really is lacking in overall content and feels a touch bare bones. This is being addressed though, as like with Splatoon and Mario Tennis Aces, this game will be getting free updates, adding new characters and courses, and although we aren't clear yet on how much will be added and how regularly, if it got a similar amount of additions to, say, Mario Tennis Aces, then in a year's time this would look like a much more complete package. Some of the courses included with the game aren't the most interesting to play. The first one, Rookie Course, is very forgettable, and the second one, Bonnie Greens, would have made a much better introductory course. Hazards get added in the other ones, but none of them really have that wow factor until you get to the last one, Bowser's Highlands, which does ramp things up quite a fair bit. If the free DLC courses can keep up with the excitement of this one, then we'll have an overall excellent Mario Golf game. It's also a shame about the lack of extra modes such as mini golf or ring shot that we've seen in the previous entries. There's a nice top 10 list on Savedex's channel about what could get added to this game. That's a really nice and totally shameless plug there, Dave. It's got a feeling of so near yet so far, and this score would most certainly increase once the updates have been added, but in its current state, value gets 11 out of 20. To conclude, Mario Golf Super Rush is an overall enjoyable, solid golf experience. It's definitely lacking in certain areas, but those are ones that can easily be rectified in the promised free updates, and I'm looking forward to seeing what's coming. The characters are well represented, the golf mechanics work very well, and the new game modes are a lot of fun in multiplayer. Hopefully, it will become the more complete game we want, but for what it is, it plays well enough for me, and it gets a Switch Up score of 76%. Let us know in the comments what you thought of this one. Are you a fan of the game? Have you been enjoying it online? And as always, a big thanks for watching the channel. Thanks to our patrons, you guys support us each and every month. I think we're up to 104, 105 of you, and that is awesome. For all things Switch, all the time, keep it Switch Up. Cheers, guys. See ya!
double boat. Whatever. Ready? 